Eddie Joe Williams is one of two Republicans running for the Secretary of State position and is challenging the current incumbent John Thurston, who is the other Republican in the race. So, Eddie Joe, thank you so much for joining us today on 4029 News on the Record. First, uh, let's get to know you a little bit better. Tell us about yourself. First of all, let me say thank you for having me today. Again, I'm Eddie Joe Williams. A uh, little bit about myself. I'm um, married to my beautiful wife, Delana, for 49 years. Uh, we have four daughters, 11 grandkids. Uh, we're so blessed. God has blessed us richly uh, over almost uh, 50 years. A little bit about myself. Politically, I've served on the city council here in Cabot. Uh, I served as their mayor for four years. Uh, I was in the Senate almost eight years when I received a call from the White House uh, asking me to serve uh, the president on the Southern States Energy Board. Southern States Energy Board is a, um, a group of governors, Southern 16 states, and it includes uh, uh, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. But the primary responsibility is to help set energy policy throughout the southern part of the United States. So it was an honor for me to represent uh, the White House. And I tell everyone uh, when I have my stump speech, uh, when I left the White House, when the president uh, was out, gas was about a buck 69. So uh, we did a lot of things right. And um, it is an honor again to, to serve the president for the last three and a half years. And now, as you know, I'm running for Secretary of State. All right, for those of um, uh, uh, our viewers who do not know, what uh, president are you referring to and what term? You know, that's <laughs> I get asked that often. President Trump. Uh, President Trump asked, uh, uh, again, this board was formed back in 1960 to help uh, oversee the nuclear industry. And it has morphed into more of a policy position uh, offering a good sound uh, conservative policy, especially related to energy. So I served him, like I say, for three and a half years, and I was hoping for another four. It didn't work out, but uh, we're back home in Arkansas and looking forward uh, to being the next Secretary of State of Arkansas. All right. Well, sir, in your opinion, what is the most important quality or trade a Secretary of State should possess? I obviously, management skill. Secretary of State is not so much a, a policy a body. You know, we don't set laws. We do set some rules, but for the most part, that is left up to the legislature for the, the, the policy and the laws. Secretary of State needs to be a, um, not only a good manager, but a great manager. I spent almost 40 years at Union Pacific Railroad, uh, working my way from a a labor, which we were cleaning windows and toilets and just whatever needed to be done, all the way up to a regional director of transportation, running the day-to-day -day operation of the eastern part of the railroad, which ran from actually uh, Illinois all the way down toward Mexico. Now, you have to possess certain skills in order to manage at that level. And that's probably what sets me apart most from my opponent, is my ability to manage at that level. Very complex issue. It's a logistics um, a nightmare with the railroad and logistic plays a big part in the secretary of state as you know we have 75 counties each one of those have to be trained up each one of those have to have um the expertise and the secretary of state plays a large part in that so my focus will be obviously on the 75 counties making sure that um logistically speaking that the elections are ready Okay, um, so what is uh, one of the uh, the most important things to get everyone ready? Is it for you to travel? Is it for you to have more meetings? Or how do you see that work out? Oh, you ask a good question. Well, the actual election is performed by the uh, by the tr uh, clerks in each county, but it is the secretary's responsibility as the chief election official uh, in the state of Arkansas to make sure that the uh, each clerk has the necessary training, has the tools, and, in, and engage from the Secretary of State's office. M my job um, is obviously to be there and be available and offer the assistance that's necessary to have a fair, honest, and transparent election. So if I thought that was happening today, obviously I wouldn't be running for Secretary of State, but I think there are a lot of opportunities uh, to help the state of Arkansas to make sure we have uh, those fair elections. Okay. Now, how do you see the role of Secretary of State during a time uh, during our political climate right now where you have some people who do not trust the election system, some people who say that uh, newer voting laws are not necessarily fair? Um, what is uh, your role and how would you present yourself as Secretary of State to appease everyone as uh, much as you can? 
Here's how you appease everyone. You follow the law to the T. I don't have a lot of dis uh, discretion on how I apply the law. The law is written by the legislature, signed by the governor. And uh, for example, this last session, I think we had 15 new uh, laws that were passed and it was primarily uh, focusing on Pulaski County. Um, I, you know, I sum it up by saying there was a dumpster fire that took place in Pulaski County. Most people not aware of it if you're outside of Pulaski County. But there were a lot of issues and the legislature came together this last session and passed 15 new laws in order to prevent some of the things that happened in Pulaski County. So my goal is to take the laws and, you know, apply them equally. It doesn't matter whether you're Republican or Democrat. Everyone is entitled for their vote to count and count accurately. It is my job as Secretary of State. Again, it's very complex. Mm -hmm. It's like running a railroad. You've got to run the train on time. You got to keep them off the same track and you got to keep them safe. Well, the voters want to feel the same way about their election. They want to know when they cast a vote that it is cast and it will be counted honestly. Uh, I commit to the voters of Arkansas to make sure that happens. And, and one way you make that make that happen is you surround yourself with good like minded people who understand the law, who are willing to and committed to uh, to make sure it's administered fairly. And uh, that's my commitment to the state of Arkansas. All right, sir. Thank you so much. We're out of time right now, but we'll be back in two minutes with more questions with the Republican running for Secretary of State Eddie Joe Williams. We'll be back.